please state your name and why you're here today. Uh, um, my name is Brooke Lauer and can we just turn on the, the regular light? No, we're going to keep it like this. So why am I interviewing you today? Because everyone thinks I'm doing it. Doing what? They think I'm the one pulling the fire alarms. As soon as I heard about the fire alarms week after week, I knew. Who else could have done it? Brooke would totally do it. It's just so obvious. I mean, I didn't do it. I never have. I mean, it's cool people are like getting out of classes often, but seriously, this isn't my doing. Someone's trying to frame me. This isn't who I am. Right, right. Well, you're free to go now. Thank you for your time. Yeah. The fire department records we found show that the fire alarms being pulled consistently happen from 3rd to 5th block. Because of that, Hannah and I had decided to check out the security footage ourselves and see if we could find any clues as to who is really behind this. Hey, any chance we can uh, take in? No, no, you're not coming in here. What if we made a deal? No camera. No camera. Look, before they pulled the fire alarm, it looks like they dropped a... Oh, it, it looks like a green apple dum-dum? There's only one person in the school who likes that flavor. From that moment on, the suspects were narrowed down to a very select few. It was just a matter of providing evidence. Nick, how's it going? Don't come in here. This case might be too much for me. We can't convict someone just based off one lollipop. I don't know what to do. Nick, come on. It's gonna be okay. What's going on? All roads don't lead to Brooke. I just... We don't have enough substantial evidence. This can't be her. There... There has to be someone, something, just higher than her. It's so she, she's not powerful enough for this. I don't know. Despite my initial success, I was no closer to solving the case, and it was really starting to get to me. What do you know? Where is it? Ah! Nick, what are you doing? My bad. I knew the case was starting to get to Nick when he started talking about a voiceover. Did Daniel say the case hit me like a brick wall? <laughs> uh, anyway, I hope he's okay. The case hit me like a brick wall. I couldn't seem to make any progress. That was until progress hit me in the face. What the hell is that? It says... Progress? Meet me in the woods. It says meet in the woods? Um, do you think it's a setup? I sure hope not. What the f- ah! What? You? Oh my god, it wasn't Brooke? How could this be? That's right, it was me the whole time. Ever since I became principal, no one has taken me seriously. No one has eaten the candy from my joy wagon. No one has liked my reels on my Instagram page. And I've decided to take away the thing that Lowell likes like the most. Academics. <laughs>
after visiting the wellness center every day during lunch, journaling and meditating for what felt like forever, we were finally able to shake what has happened to us and what we had just happened to capture on camera. We're choosing to broadcast your story so that others know about this truth. And so that no one else will ever be falsely accused. That's what we just said. So I'm assuming you've seen the incident with Dr. Jones and everything, right? <sighs> yeah, um, that was that was something. But are you guys going to like show that? Like, are you are you going to broadcast that to everyone? The whole school will know you're not a culprit anymore. The fire alarms have stopped, and the truth will be known. Oh, okay. Cut. Perfect. They'll believe that. Thank you.